How does the church approach teaching and education? The Christian approach to teaching and education, deeply rooted in the scriptures, emphasizes the transformative power of God's word in shaping individuals and communities. This view is consistently reflected throughout the Bible, where the significance of instruction, wisdom, and understanding is underscored. Let's explore how the church approaches teaching and education, highlight relevant Bible verses in bold, and present three main takeaways from this exploration. Biblical Foundation for Teaching and Education 1. Deuteronomy 6 6-7 And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. This passage highlights the importance of constant engagement with the Word of God, embedding it in every aspect of life and diligently passing it on to the next generation. 2. 2 Timothy 3 16-17 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Paul's instruction to Timothy underscores the role of scripture in teaching and equipping believers for life and ministry, affirming the comprehensive usefulness of God's word. 3. Matthew 28 19-20 Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. The Great Commission emphasizes teaching as a central component of discipleship, extending the transformative power of Christ's teachings to all nations. Three main takeaways. 1. Integrality of Scripture The Christian approach to teaching and education is deeply rooted in Scripture, reflecting a commitment to passing on the faith and the teachings of Jesus Christ as central to Christian life and community. 2. Lifelong learning and formation Education in the Christian context is not confined to formal settings or childhood. It is a lifelong process of formation and transformation, engaging with God's Word in a way that shapes beliefs, values, and actions. 3. Mission-oriented Christian education is inherently mission-oriented, aimed at making disciples and equipping individuals for service and ministry. It serves a dual purpose of deepening faith and empowering believers to engage the world with the gospel. The church's approach to teaching and education, grounded in the authoritative and transformative power of scripture, aims not only at the acquisition of knowledge but at the formation of character and faith, equipping believers to live out the teachings of Christ in every area of life. Greg Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash.